What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tay here, and I'm back with another video. And I know, I know, I know, I know. It has been a very long time. I usually, you guys know, if you've been on my channel for a while, I'm usually super consistent. I took a week off, a lot of things happened, and it was a holiday. So we're back, we're back. I'm back on a grind. I need to make a deal with y'all. We missed some uploads. I usually like to upload two or three. We can't go another week like that. So let me know in the comment section you want to do a little uh, upload, a little deal. We could actually do that. But I've been saving these videos till after Christmas anyway. And I wanted to start off by, you know, as you can see from the title, my top budget players. I wanted to wait till after Christmas uh, because that's when mostly all the big content happens. And then you can kind of sell a win and the game is kind of the game and the content. So let's get ready for this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. Let's get right into the video. All right, so quick little thing. I don't really want to talk about these cards a lot because you guys, if you guys are new or you guys are just into man, these cards are the best cards in the game uh, for the budget. They're cost like only like 50K to do. You can do them pretty quickly. So I, I think you guys already know about these, but these are the snow beasts. You can just get them from like snow doing solo challenge or getting like the collectibles. They're pretty easy to get. It's like Jason Kelsey, Lamar, Marshawn Lattimore, and a couple other players too and they're really good like they're top tier cars for pretty cheap i'm rocking a jason cup so you can see the stats right now like he's insane i tried out the lamar lamar's good too so that should be the people you start your team with if you're fairly new to the game that's what i would use to start my team with um but i'm gonna give you some actual budget players that's on the market like those the guys you should start off regardless with the first card i want to talk about is jamal adams all these cards are going to be under 100k too, so these are like pretty budget cards. Jamal Adams' card is an absolute beast. If you can get his power up, I would try to power him up. He's still one of my starting safeties. Like, I love Jamal Adams playing in this game. Um, he got, he lays the lumber, especially on next gen if you have next gen. He plays extremely well on next gen because you can actually force fumbles on next gen. Uh, but this card is absolutely good. Like, he just roams around, can make the tackles, can hit. Uh, can play man, can zone. I blitz him a couple of times. Like you do a lot with this car, and he's only like 70k, which is pretty good. And then if you have his power up, you get him to like a 94, I believe, or 93 or something. Um, this car is really good, and I mean, I still rock him on my team right now, and he's still a starter for me. So this car is a beast. Definitely want to have him at safety, move him to linebacker, and then just go crazy with him. Make him your user if that's possible. Another, let's, I want to go right to another safety, and that's going to be Taylor Mays. I actually never had this car yet i'm gonna probably get this card eventually but taylor maze is obviously a good card 90 speed if you get his power up i don't know how much his power up costs but usually the 50 power ups are a little expensive um but you know he's 6'3 he's actually like really good user like i always get picked off from him uh but this taylor maze card is really good again if you're on next gen he has to hit power which his sticks actually happen on next gen uh so Taylor Mays is really good on current and he's still going to be as good as well. Again, safety move to linebacker and make him your user. He's 6'3". He can go get every ball. Like, it's insane how many balls he can get uh, for his height. But this card is really good. He can tackle well. Uh, you can put him in zone. He's not really good in man if you are running like nickel 235. Uh, you put him on a running back but uh, he's a good card he's a really good user. All right, I feel like this is the most the best budget card of budget cards. And this is Raheem Ostar. Bro, like, I literally, like, just got off of him. Like, I tried Derrick Henry. I got Bo Jackson now. Um, But he's still basically my running back. Like, when I get done with them, I usually put uh, Raheem back in the game. Uh, I just love using this car. Like, I feel like I run the ball. Like, he just feels like he runs entirely different than other running backs. Um, And I have a lot of success with him. I've been using him ever since the uh, since the most fear promo. I've been using Raheem All-Star. I, I still love this car. He's still in my running back uh, rotation. I think he's, like, two or three now. Uh, but I absolutely love this car. If you have a 49er theme team, you can actually get them up to like 94, 95 speed, um, depending how many players you have. I only had like 25, and we're budget, so I'm not gonna really talk about Sprinter, but he's still fast without Sprinter. You can get him with 25 Niners, you give him the 93 speed. He's gonna ball out, man. Uh, I have a lot of success running the football where he must start. And I think he's probably one of the best budget players to get. Another good budget player they get is Reggie Bush. Especially if you're going to have to be getting one of the snow beasts like Lamar Jackson. It's going to be really crucial to get like backfield master for one AP. Uh, so you can get the actual additional hot routes. Um, the catching traffic uh, bonus. I think Reggie Bush is really good. I haven't actually had Reggie Bush in this game yet. Um, I just never got a chance to get him. 
Uh, but he's a really good car. I had a lot of trouble stopping him, especially you put him on that Texas route. Um, he's extremely hard to stop. He's a really good car. Um, nice little budget car now. And people still use Reggie Bush to this day. So he's only like, what I see? I think he's like 50K or something. Oh, he's a 78K. So he's still under 100K. He still is a good get. I'll definitely go check him out. All right, now this is where we get to the couple corners, man. Dante Jackson is a budget goon. 94 speed, he has good man coverage. If you are playing current gen on PS4 and Xbox One, Dante Jackson is gonna be extremely good for you because how people still run man coverage on there and he's super fast. You could be able to compete right away. On next gen, he's still good. He's gonna be better because of 94 speed with the zones or how they're messed up right now. But he's gonna play well for you. He's just gonna he's a little bit better on current gen how that game plays compared to next gen. But he still is an extremely good card. 94 speed for a 90 cornerback. Um it's extremely crazy. Put some lockdown on him. You have like 90 something man. Good enough zone. He's a really, really good corner. If you just started this game, you have to get some coins up. Definitely get him to start as one of your top corners. And another guy to pair him up is with Jamal Dean. He's another fast corner you can start up. I actually like him a little bit better because he's a little bit more overall, like man coverage, zone coverage. It's kind of the same. You can all you can basically get both of them up to a 90 if you have lockdown all the way up. This car is really good. 6-1. I actually really like this car. I don't have him because my corners are like kind of crazy right now. And he's man to man. I like more zone coverage corners. But he's a really good car to get to start off. You can start off with Dante Jackson and Jamal Dean as your one, two corners off the gate. You have really fast corners to compete right away in the game. This Brandon IU car, man. This car is actually pretty good. 92 speed, good jumping, good catching. All this is pretty good for a budget car. Nice little speed. You could get it up if you have the 49ers again. Um, his route running ain't the greatest, but you could put him in good, you know, good routes. Put him in some drags. Don't put him in anything crazy. Make some deep plays if you can. Um, and if you have, you know, deep go deep or play fake, you can actually get his route running up. Uh, he's a really good car. I actually had him a couple times. Um, he was good. He was solid for me. You can have, you could definitely do some things. Put him in some jet sweeps. Um, do it a little touch pass plays with him. He's gonna be you're gonna you find ways to make him really good in this game um, And he's a nice little budget car definitely to start with and also Reggie Wayne is another good car He's a little slow at 89 speed, but if you could get his power up I think you can get him up to like 90 speed, but the thing good about him um, is he a route runner archetype so you can get you know route technician on him He's gonna create a little bit more separation it's gonna be a little bit hard because he's a little bit slower, but I believe he's only like 40,000 coins. So he's gonna be a nice little stop gap for you once you get another guy. Uh, so on next gen, it, it won't matter. He'll still get open, especially with the route running. It's so entirely different than current gen. He'll still find a way to be open with 90 speed. So I think he's a really good card to get for right now until you level up to try to maybe get the Brandon IU card or get other cards. Um, but he's a really good car. He's gonna catch everything uh, Go route running if you get the play fakes all the way up and if you can Power if you can power him up he can get to like 90 speed. This car is really good I had a lot of success with Reggie Wayne earlier on in the year um, But he's a really good car especially on next gen. You could still be able to use him and for my quarterback position I have Joe Montana again. I talked about Lamar Jackson and the snow beast. You obviously can get him Fairly cheap and he'll be better than all these options combined like um, this car is a beast for like the amount of coins he is but if you don't have that or you're just trying to get someone right now for cheap i say like joe montana uh i just think field general i've been talking about this in all my past videos i think field general is just so crucial this year which is you can be able to get hot raw master for 2 ap and you can unlock everything else in your office you put stuff on your wide receivers on your office line if you want to uh it just opens up everything you have all the routes in the game. You can make almost any playbook insanely good. Um, and then once you get later on to more cards, you can get Gunslinger as well. You don't really need that. You don't really need Gunslinger for like next gen, but having Hot Rod Master, I think it's just huge. It unlocks a lot of uh, options on your uh, offense. And the last quarterback I'm gonna talk about is Dan Marino. Again, I'm just gonna talk about field general quarterbacks. I feel like if you go on any budget, any other budget player other than Lamar, I should be a field general quarterback just to be able to unlock the hot route master ability 
and you can just again unlock all this he still has pretty good stats good throw power you run to go go deep on him he'll have a nice little throw power probably around like 95 which is good um his short accuracies medium and deep are pretty good uh you can get one to elite tier with any play fake or deep threat whatever which one you want um, he's a really good quarterback. I had a lot of success with him. The only thing is he's a, he's a little slow with 50, not a little. He is slow at 57 speed. But if you get the ball out quick, you'll be fine. I won a lot of games with Dan Marino. Definitely some videos on my channel with me with Dan Marino. He's a really good quarterback. And I'll definitely say try him out if you're just new to the game. These are my top budget players in the game. Let me know down in the comment section if I missed anything. If you have any questions or you want to know, like, if you think this guy is pretty good, I'll answer all your questions in the comment section. So just let me know down in the comment section what you think. It's your boy Tay. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm out. Peace.